I've always thought that the 20th century didn't begin in 1900. The 20th century began sometime between 1914 and 1918. Um, it seems to me that it was then that the old world of Victorian and Edwardian certainty, um, things in their proper place, social hierarchies, uh, ideas of duty, etc., etc., um, were probably destroyed by the First World War and all the socio-cultural movements around it. And so by the end of World War I, by 1918, the world that we know today, our world, our modern 20th and 21st century world, was born. And so what's going on in Waiting for Sunrise is that my hero, Lysander, is experiencing exactly this transformation. At the beginning of the novel, he's an Edwardian, it's 1913. Um, he's, he knows his place in society. His future seems fairly clearly mapped out. The book begins in brilliant, dazzling sun, sunlight. Everything is clear, everything is sharply focused. But by the end of the novel, everything that's happened to him, he's, he's like us. He's unsure, he's uncertain. He can't figure everything out. Um, he's uh, troubled. The modern spirit, if you like, has, has invaded him. And it's no accident that the book ends on a dark and foggy night in London to symbolize the move from clarity and certainty into uncertainty and doubt. So the, the narrative of the book is, starts off quite straightforwardly in the, the, the young actor, a young English actor who's engaged to be married and wants to get his sexual problem sorted out, goes to Vienna to be psychoanalyzed, which was quite a daring thing to do in those days, almost like mumbo jumbo, but he thinks it's the only uh, uh, chance for him. Um, so he goes to Vienna gets himself a therapist, Dr. Ben Simon. But unfortunately for Lysander, the hero, he meets very quickly a young English woman called Hetty Bull, who's also a patient of the doctor, and they be, he falls violently and overwhelmingly in love with her. And this love affair, in a way, embroils him in events that determine the course of the rest of the novel. He gets into terrible trouble, he's thrown into prison, he's rescued by British diplomats, and that connection with British diplomats, once the war begins, leads him into a life of espionage and danger and more problems. And Hetty Bull, this strange, alluring woman, keeps cropping up in his life. But basically, the adventure that Lysander goes on in the course of the novel, which leads him to the Western Front, to Vienna, to um, trying to unearth a traitor at the heart of the British War Office, is all caused by Vienna and what happened to him in Vienna. And again and again, as he finds himself in jeopardy or in a terrible situation, he realizes that the key to it all, the key to this direction that his life has gone on, is what happened to him in Vienna during those months of 1913 and 1914.